In other news at this hour, New York police have tightened security ahead of a possible historic indictment of Donald Trump over the hush money paid to a porn actress. Trump, who is seeking the Republican nomination for the White House again in 2024, had predicted he would be arrested today. On Saturday, Trump urged followers on social media to protest what he said was his looming arrest. In his call for protests, Trump raised concerns that supporters might engage in violence similar to the January 6, 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol. And they say several far-right groups have opted not to heed Trump's call, fearing a trap. Stormy Daniels says that she had an affair with Trump. She claims the former U.S. president gave her 130,000 U.S. dollars before the 2016 election to not discuss the encounter. Trump has maintained that nothing of the sort ever happened and in 2018 told reporters he knows nothing about any payment made. If Trump is charged, it would mark the first ever indictment of a former U.S. president. Trump's former personal lawyer was sentenced to prison for orchestrating harsh payments to Daniels and another woman, former Playboy model Karen McDowell. Karen McDowell says she had a months-long affair with Trump before he took office. Trump has been citing a political witch hunt. He says it is an attempt to take down the leading candidate in the Republican Party. Trump's fellow Republicans have widely criticized the probe as politically motivated. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, Trump's rival for the Republican presidential nomination, said the district attorney was imposing a political agenda. However, he also took a veiled swipe at Trump. I don't know what goes into paying hush money to a porn star to, to secure silence over some type of alleged affair. I just, I can't speak to that. Trump is facing multiple legal challenges and investigations. Cases include his handling of classified documents and his alleged efforts to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election. And for more on this, we are now being joined by Mark Merowitz, who is a political commentator from the United States. Mark, thanks for joining us at this hour. Elon Musk says if Trump is arrested, then that will increase his chances of winning the presidency in 2024. What do you make of Musk's prediction? I mean, the whole situation is completely ridiculous. Um, as far as the uh, what's being motivated here, it's really... Um, um, a political uh, circus, and I think that's kind of what DeSantis was talking about. Um, we don't really, you know, the case itself is very um, uh, speculative and really not very strong. There are a number of issues here, and in particular, the Federal Justice Department and Federal Election Commission declined to pursue this. And what are we really talking about? I mean, we're talking about, as you quoted DeSantis, um, you know, um, an opportunity to cover up a payment to um, a porn star uh, for having sexual relations. Um, the Wall Street Journal said today in its editorial that if you're going to go and indict a former president or a president, you have to have serious charges at the highest level. Right. Clearly, this is not the case here. Mark, but what would be the real impact or ramification if Trump is indeed arrested or indicted? And what does that say about America's justice system? I don't think this is reflective of our justice system. The DA in New York, I live in New York, uh, is not, uh, I don't think, being commended for his uh, policy moves, which is basically to move a lot of felonies into misdemeanors. And look here. He's spending his office, his time and attention in a, in a city of this large capacity with all the issues that we have to have his entire team working on what is effectively a misdemeanor, which is a very low level, low level violation. And in fact, I mean, I'm not defending what happens. I don't know all the facts, but the fact is that this involved apparently Trump trying to do something through Michael Cohen and then this was a bookkeeping error and i'm not saying good or bad but it is really a very dangerous distraction from our normal politics and what it's doing it is a volcano in american politics the house 
is now going, House is Republicans, are going after Bragg to get all his paperwork, which is very unlikely. And the uh, media personalities are all over themselves in order to try to side or not side with Trump. And it distracts from the problems that we have in America here today. And the issue of the porn star, I have to say very candidly, is not one of our biggest issues in the world today. You've had reports about Russia and China and all sorts of big events are going on. And what are the law enforcement people paying attention to? They're paying attention to years ago, there is an allegation of some sort of a connection with this man Trump, with this woman. Why is this the focus of our law enforcement when there's so many other big issues that need to be dealt with? So I, and, and, and the only former president to be indicted is going to be this president for a uh, sexual liaison. I mean, it really, it really is, sh it's shameful, embarrassing right. for the American right. judiciary, which is a great, great judicial system founded in our republic. I think our founding fathers would be turning over in their graves if they knew about this absolute uh, mockery of our judicial system. And really what's gonna happen now, people are gonna come, they're gonna protest, the mm. police is all concerned. Let's talk about well, those protests, Mark. Yes, let's, please, talk please, about, please. let's talk about those protests, Mark. How are Republicans viewing these wars facing Donald Trump? Some claim it is a political witch hunt by the Democrats, and to make it worse, Trump has urged his supporters to demonstrate if he's charged. How is that likely to pan out? Well, I mean, it's true that Trump tweeted that, you know, protest, protest, but the Speaker of the House, Republican Kevin McCarthy, has said peaceful. What the Republicans do not want and are very worried about is a repetition of January 6th. And that is just going to be very, very hurtful to the Republican Party going forward. Now, why Trump went ahead foolishly and put those words protest, protest in his tweet, I mean, I, I just think it's completely ridiculous. He shouldn't have done it. And, you know, he, he's just, it's, it's just unex, un, unexcusable and unacceptable. But, but if this gets unleashed in this way, then it's going to reflect poorly ultimately on the chances of the Republican Party in 2024. So I don't think anyone in the Republican establishment is in favor of what he wrote there, protest, protest, and very worried about what could ensue. Uh, you know, it's going to be a complete, ridiculous uh, situation at the courts. Right. And he unleashed right. it. And he shouldn't have done it. But at the same time, others are saying, well, if the, if the um, a district attorney indicts Trump, he, in fact, this is what some people are saying, they've elected him in 2024. So the point is, who knows what it all means? And there's a lot of time between now and 2024 election, and a lot of things could happen. We don't know who the Republican candidate is going to be. Will the indictment of Trump actually uh, prevent his uh, candidacy? Uh, some have said it should. So my main takeaway here is an upheaval of absolute ca catastrophic proportions in the normalcy and the stability of a political system. And why? Because the district attorney in New York who has made felonies into misdemeanors now feels that this misdemeanor is so important that he has to upend all of our calm and the peace that we're trying to create in New York City by creating this unbelievable distraction. I'm not saying what Trump did is right or wrong. That's not the point. The point being, is this merit, does this merit this kind of an action, by the way, for an event that's, I think, seven years old, there's also an issue whether they can even bring the case Mark. because we have a statute of limitations. So I think it's pretty confusing. All right. Political commentator, I think we have to leave it there. Mark Meritz, thank you very much for talking to We On Wild Is One today. Pleasure. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.